Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record play for you. Today's book is Gold Goldbots Battle for Govertron for nineteen eighty four. So let's get started. This is the challenge of the Gobots adventure story titled Battle for Govatron. You can follow along in your book. When you hear the sound of the laser gun. You will know it is time to turn to the next page. Far across the vastness of space, in one of the spiraling arms of the Milky Way, the metallic world of Gobatron is wracked by violent revolt. The sinister renegade Gobots have stormed the capital city attempting to overthrow the besieged planet. Leading the enemy Gobots is the ruthless renegade commander, Psykill. I will not stop until every being on Gobatron bows to my will. <laughs> but as the battle rages on, it becomes apparent that Psykill's army is outnumbered by the heroic guardian Gobots, led by the courageous leader, One. For the sake of the galaxy, Psykel and his renegades must be defeated. In this fateful struggle, Leader One's forces drive back the renegades, but not before Psykel seizes the Guardian's powerful matter transporter, the Astro Beam. With this prize, a satisfied Psykel leads his army on a fast retreat back to their fortress. <laughs> Today, the Astro Beam. Tomorrow, Gobatron. <laughs> That night, in the vast high-tech chamber of the Gobot Council, Leader One calls an emergency meeting of the Honorable Guardian Rulers. There's no telling what evil plan Psykill has for the Astro Beam. Turbo, we must act quickly. I'm kind of tired. Uh, can't it wait till morning? Not a chance, Scooter. We must attack the Renegade Fortress tonight. Prepare the command center for immediate departure. Meanwhile, in the Renegade Fortress, a jubilant Psykill demonstrates the powers of a stolen Astro Beam. <laughs> As you can see, the Astro Beam is a matter transporter and is capable of sending anything, or anyone, to the far end of the universe and then back again. <laughs> yes, Psykill, that should prove most useful to us. <laughs> Useful indeed, Crasher. Soon you, Copter, and I will depart for Earth to establish a new renegade base. Have you made contact with your Earthling ally? Yes, Copter. My ally, a certain Dr. Praxis, is a truly greedy creature, perfect for our plan. Should I need to summon additional renegade forces, the Astro Beam will be at our disposal. <laughs> Scooter, we'll prepare to follow them. 
And so Leader One, Scooter, and Turbo fly the Guardian Command Center in pursuit of the evil renegade ship. Both mammoth craft speed across infinite space, streaking toward their ultimate destination, the planet Earth. Meanwhile, orbiting the Earth, we find astronauts Matt Hunter and Andrea A.J. Johnson aboard the U.S. Space Shuttle in Trevor. They have just completed repairs on a malfunctioning communication satellite. Come in, Mission Control. This is Matt Hunter. The satellite is back in operation. This is Mission Control with NASA. Dr. Bratz is speaking. We read you, Hunter. You are cleared to return to base. We're on our way. Wait a minute, Matt. Look, there's something out there. Oh, my gosh. It's a UFO as big as Cleveland. What Matt and A.J. see is the Renegade Command Center hurtling through space toward Earth. The evil ship commanded by Psykill veers through the atmosphere and smashes right through the communication satellite, which has just been repaired. Psykill's ship speeds off and descends towards Earth. This is Dr. Braxis at Mission Controls. Somebody tell me what's going on up there. A UFO just destroyed the satellite. We're going after the aircraft. Over and out. No, Hunter. Return to base immediately. Hunter! Hunter! Curses! Please turn to side two for the continuation of the Gobot story. Welcome to my laboratory, 
Psy kill? As I told you in my transmission to Earth, I have little interest in your puny planet beyond using it as a base from which to conquer Gobatron. Once Gobatron is mine, the control of Earth will fall to you, Praxis. Psy kill is a Gobot of his word. Meanwhile, Matt, AJ, Leader One, and Scooter are assembling the electronic components needed to repair Turbo. Hey, I bet I could get my hand on the parts we need at NASA's electronic warehouse. Good idea, AJ. Scooter, go with her and keep your eyes peeled for the renegades. They could be anywhere. Me? Why me? That night, Scooter and AJ arrive at the NASA warehouse and quickly locate the necessary components. Then, as they pass Brax's secluded lab, Scooter's sensors go wild, indicating enemy gobots in the immediate area. The sensors lead AJ and Scooter to Brax's door, where they eavesdrop on Brax's and Psycho, discussing their sinister plot. Once we have stolen the powerful energy source Saurium from the Soviet research compound, my plan will be underway, Braxis. <laughs> Our plan, Psycho. Remember, we are partners. Listen, Scooter, that's Dr. Braxis. He's turned traitor to NASA. We'd better get some help, AJ. As they start to leave, AJ accidentally trips and falls over some laboratory equipment. So that would go bot the battle for Gobotron from 1984. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. And we'll have another video coming out real soon.